Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here, and today I've got another short little unboxing to share with you guys. This is actually this month's Going Gear EDC Club box, so I'm excited to see what's in here. I'll link this right down below. There is a uh, less expensive box and a more expensive box. If you're interested, it's entirely up to you. Thanks to Going Gear for sending this in for me to take a look at. Thanks to my generous patrons who are supporting me. There's a link for Patreon right down below, and please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. All right. Let's get in here. I want to mention this again because some people are still confused about these. So I don't know what's in here for April, but they don't put random stuff in the box for every individual person who buys it. Like whatever's in here for April is what everybody gets for April. It's always the same thing. So it's not like they're sending me, you know, somebody had suggested at one point, sorry, I'm making a cut over here without showing my personal information. Somebody had suggested, well, they probably send you the best stuff. <laughs> to show on video. No, whatever you're seeing in here for April is what everybody is getting for April. All right. Ooh, <laughs> boy, okay. Right off the bat, I see tactile turn, so that's awesome. Uh, standard titanium bolt action pen, uh, and the knives. It's LW6 Infinity, okay. Kershaw Natrix, uh, a flashlight. So this looks like the premium box. There's a whole, there's a lot of stuff in here. Let's get it all out. Uh, I'm all, always happy to get a, a tactile pen, always. <laughs> and, oh, we got another little flashlight there. Okay, so let's get all this stuff. And we'll start off with the least expensive. What is the, oh, the tiny survival guide. Okay, ultimate survival tips. Tiny survival guide, value of eleven ninety seven. The idea here, and you know, I it's I think it's pretty rare that when you get this that you absolutely love every single item. I mean, if you do, then great, right? So these mystery boxes or like subscription boxes are definitely for some people and not others. It's just one of those things, right? I mean, that this isn't marketed to everybody. I like. <laughs> I get to make content out of it, so I always find it interesting, right? But they're definitely, it's it's going to be for some and not for others. Okay, so anyways, Tiny Survival Guide is the, uh, uh, the world's smallest and most complete pocket survival guide ever developed. <laughs> it's a bold statement. The guide is designed to be both a proactive everyday carry learning tool and a uh, reactive pocket emergency response guide. Okay. Uh, credit card size, this guide will fit almost anywhere and includes 101 illustrations, 175 expert tips, 67 life-saving skills, and 19 scannable codes that provide online training and resources. All right. Okay. Let's, uh, I'm gonna open it up. I'm gonna open it. Oh, I don't need that. There's a, uh, thing right at the top. Okay. Is this a zip? So, I gotta ask, why is it resealable? Is it gonna go back in there? <laughs> um, but okay, oh, oh, it's this big fold out thing. Okay, here we go. Uh, should we read some of it? Five keys to navigate your crisis. Sit down, stay calm, relax, take a few deep breaths, drink some water, you're gonna be okay. Now start to collect your thoughts. I mean, oh, yeah, okay, I get where they're going with this. I mean, yeah, all right, all right, the first tip. I was looking for something humorous, but Pretty good advice. <laughs> Not that that's, that one tiny paragraph encompasses all of the information that's in that, but okay, fine. Uh, key rings. It looks like just a multi-pack of key rings. S, spinner, black steel, night eyes. Is that what this is? Yeah, right there. Okay. The six stainless steel, two sides, carabiner are a great way to manage your keys. Uh, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, there's always something like this in there, right? Well, this might not be somebody, you know, it's not like people are um, carabiner enthusiasts. And if you are, sorry, I didn't know that your niche existed, but um, this is just something that you're like, yeah, I can use those, but I'm not gonna specifically, you know, you might not be like super pumped to go buy these, but you'll definitely find a use for them. Well, let's take a look at the flashlight. The Olight i1R2 Pro for $21.95. Uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, 180 lumens, USB-C rechargeable. Okay, that's all the information I need. 
I just want to see. I'm guessing that this is a. Um, <laughs> oh, okay. All right. There's the thing right there. You gotta, you gotta lift the thing. Gotta be smarter than the package. <laughs> gotta be smarter than the package there. <laughs> hey, did you hear what I said? I said to him, uh, he's gotta be smarter than the package. The implication being that because he's having difficulty with it, the inanimate object that is the package is uh, of higher intelligence. <laughs> Shut up. Um, okay, so we have a uh, tiny... Um, this is actually kind of neat. Okay, what kind of batteries does this take? Oh, is it just... Is it like internal? I think I've seen this before. Yeah, I think this is an internal, like a twist on... Okay, that's kind of neat. Actually, this is a... Um, this is a, a pretty perfect, like, vehicle, like, or if you have, like, a, I don't know, if you got, like, a tool shed, some, somewhere where you, there's always a way to plug in um, USB so you can recharge this, like, right where it sits. Um, this is the type of light that I keep in my junk drawer in case the power goes, back, uh, power goes out because we live in Kansas and it just does, right? Um, so that's kind of cool and, you know, super cheap. Uh, I don't want to say cheap. I want to say inexpensive because 180 lumens on something like this is pretty good, right? I don't have a problem with that. This is kind of cool. I like that. It's a little bit big for me to dangle it off my keys. I like to. Use, I have a Rovivon that's in titanium. It's just slightly lighter than this, and it's a bit heavy. Um, but if you want to, you can definitely put it on your keys. This is like to me. This is like a perfect truck light or somewhere you know because you can usually on newer vehicles anyway. You can plug in USB or if you've got a cigarette adapter. You can just plug it in there. So there you go. Let's you know what? I know the pen's good, and so do you guys. Let's. I'm gonna open it, but let's take a look at the fixed blade because I've never heard of this. Uh, Anza, this is this is part of the premium package, right? So if you pick up the less expensive box, this is the thing that's probably not gonna be in it at 110 bucks. That's my guess. That or the tactile turn pen. Um, LW6. I'm sorry, LWK-6 Infinity with leather sheath. Based in California, Anza Knives or Anza Knives has been making quality handmade knives since 1980, since before I was born. Uh, their knives are always one of a kind because they are handmade. This results in slight variations from knife to knife. The long handle WK-6 is made from a 10 inch high carbon steel file and includes micarta handles and a leather sheath. Okay, well let's take a look at it. Okay. Getting all the debris off there so we can determine what is and is not. This is kind of neat. The texturing up here. And if they're handmade, I mean, yeah, you, you, we're, we're seeing a little bit of variation here in the final cutting bevel. But then again, we're looking at a $100 fixed blade that is handmade and not mass produced. So I don't know if I want to judge it too much. Uh, but that's pretty cool. The micarta scales look pretty nice. Um, I don't know anything about this company. Uh, literally nothing. I'm experiencing this for the very first time. Slice a piece of paper with it. Um, sorry, one sec. All right, we're just gonna grab a whole bunch because my fingers are getting to the point where they're not able to separate paper, right? <laughs> yeah, it's actually extremely sharp. Okay, let's take. A look. I always like to look. Yeah, see, no fraying. Mm, it's a clean slice. Yeah, extremely sharp. This is cool. I mean, they're one. They're, they're handmade. They are. Uh, it's a hundred dollar handmade fixed blade. So you probably you probably are I mean you're definitely going to see variations. You're definitely going to see things like smiles back here on the cutting bevel. It's a very wide cutting bevel, but hey, that's just that's going to be how it is. All right, that's okay. Um, and then the Natrix. I think that's um, I think everybody knows about the Natrix. <laughs> it's a famous model. I can't remember exactly why. Hmm, what was the history of the Natrix? Gosh, I just can't remember. Maybe you guys can. <laughs> uh, just, uh, I know you're like, tell us what you mean. Just go to the comments. Um, yeah, okay, cool. Are these assisted? I believe they are. There's nothing wrong with the Natrix. In fact, it's actually uh, a great knife. I don't like the steel on it, but then again, it was a $35 knife, right? The Natrix itself is a good knife, definitely. Um, so there you go, budget option there. And then finally we have the tactile turn pen, which is gonna be my favorite thing 
Um, I don't know if you guys know this, but I have one and regularly use it every single day. Mine is exactly the same outside of the fact that it has the Timascus bolt, but these are awesome. They are made in the USA. Uh, I actually own two of these. <laughs> I have one um, that sits down here in my office, and then I have one that sits in my um, sort of like my channel notebook um, where I write out the channel schedule um, manually. So the pen comes in really handy. This was a decent month. I kind of, you know, the, the fixed blade's okay. I like the Natrix. I like the flashlight, the key ring, the survival guy. I could take it or leave it. Some people are going to like that fixed blade. Some people aren't. Some people would have preferred something else. Uh, that's going to be entirely up to you. I Here's what would have done it for me. Like, if you really are like the, you know, the fixed blade, like the custom fixed blade kind of, you know, that's cool and nothing against our company. I think uh, what people really would have liked to see is something like a $100 Essie. Uh, that would have really made that, that really would have driven it home. So this, this is okay. If I was going to letter grade this box, I'd give it a C plus, maybe a B minus. Uh, it's it's all right. Um, the, uh, the one this month that would probably be, I mean, I don't know if they're not going to put the pen in there or they're not going to put this guy in there. Um, but if you did, you know, if the less expensive box, may, it might be that both of these items are not included in the less expensive box. But, I mean, gosh, if they did the budget box and they put the pen in there and the knife and the flashlight and all that stuff, that'd be killer. But, I don't know, maybe not not a high chance of that. This is okay. Uh, an SE, something like uh, whatever the SEs are that run about 100 to 110, which is what the Anza ran, I would have been pretty pumped. This is okay. Uh, like I said, you can find a link for this right down below. If you order right now, you'll probably get next month's box. But yeah, uh, everybody who got a box for April, you got the same stuff as me. Exactly the same stuff. All right. I think that's going to be pretty much it today, guys. Um, thanks again to Going Gear. Make sure you check out Going Gear. They have a whole bunch of really great stuff. And they're definitely a retailer that you should check periodically if you you know are buying things monthly anyway. You don't have to go with the... You know, if you want to, great. You don't have to. But if you are somebody who buys stuff monthly, check their retailer because they've always got cool stuff in stock. Uh, links right down below. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do not like. So check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that metal complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.